Well, to celebrate Earth Week, we're looking at the small changes that you can make to have a positive impact on our environment. And one way is to repurpose some of the stuff that you would normally throw away. You can turn your trash into cash. And so here to tell us <laughs> is Luis, Luis Krizika from Everything's Together Organizing Services. Luis, thanks for being here. Hi, happy to be here. I'm also with the National Association of Productivity and Organizing Professionals. Well, there you go. Our local chapter. That's yeah. fantastic. And if you want to organize, uh, both Pat and Bell say Saturday is probably the day do it because I think so. Weather's yeah. going to be icky. So what can we do? What are some okay, things so that we can do? Okay, so these are easy things that I think everybody gets this kind of packaging. So just rethink. This is not an excuse to start saving tons and tons of this. Right. But if you have a need, these ideas spark it. Then yeah. you know a little spark joy. Yes, we'll absolutely. Do that. So um, how, how often do we get our cupcakes, our delicious cupcakes, in single serving containers? Too often, actually. These are, yeah, a little too <laughs> often for me too. I have quite a few ornaments that are stored. <laughs> You have extras for the new was, ornaments yeah. that you have if to buy you need yet, some, right? Give me a call. <laughs> okay. um, anyway, but um, whether it's you're packing up Easter and Passover, yeah. or if you have some Christmas ornaments that are special, they need to protect be protected. them and put I them like in it. there, and you don't pay anything for yeah. it. So um, we often go and get, you know, um, uh, coffees, yeah. or they come in in little uh, Waters, beers, holders whatever, like this. Exactly. Like yeah. So turn that into a backyard picnic portable uh, caddy. Very for all cute. the things that you need. So for your condiments that you want to take, some napkins, um, forks, great idea. whatever you need. And then when it's not being used, flat, nice and flat in stores somewhere where it doesn't take up space. There you go. So painting projects. Yes. You're always afterwards saying, oh, why didn't I do a swatch of that paint yeah. so I could go to the store and look at fabrics? Yeah. So take something wooden. That could be um, a little clothespin because you're not using that, popsicle sticks, even uh, chopsticks that you get that you yeah. don't use. And then put a little work. paint on it on one side. And then on the other side, write down what room or what area or trim or whatever yeah. it is about. And then store those all in one place where you can grab them when you want to go uh, shopping. Super handy. All yeah. right, what do we have here with these egg so, cartons? I, I've got egg cartons and you know this, dryer lint, right? Oh, is that so what that is? I know it's pretty gross was. looking, isn't <laughs> <Yeah>. it? <laughs> when you see it that Thanks, way. Thanks, Louise. <laughs> so what is it about dryer lint that we're always warned about? It catches fire. Right. Yeah. So why not purposefully catch fire by stoning, putting this inside of the egg carton, which is burnable, yep. the paper-based one. Now your backyard fire pit. Yep. Instead of buying fire sticks or go. some kind of kindling, put these in, light them, and off you go. Okay, we got about 30 seconds left. Okay. What else do you want to talk about? So I love to do these tins because repurposing them, whether it's for a first aid kit, a sewing kit, for traveling, again, so why someone buy Someone with it? really bad breath, the giant <laughs> Altoids. <laughs> that's a, or a really big first aid kit. There you go. <laughs> you did too. And then here's the thing that I don't think we think about funnels. Yeah. We have funnels in the kitchen that are really small, but if you're trying to like put bird seed into a, another oh, package yeah, yeah. or bird seed or something, something large and liquid and gooey, and look, go ahead and take a plastic container, just cut off that bottom. You might have to be careful if it's sharp on the bottom. Yep, put You'll some notice tape I've got yeah, some nylon tape Great on there. Idea. But it's so nice because you can keep that, keep this guy on here, yeah. the little cap, so that things won't spill. And then when you're ready to go, psh, take it and drop it into whatever Perfect. you need. Love it. Great ideas. We money, have all money, this money, 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 money saved. We have all this information <laughs> at care We'll be right back.